Welcome back to News 19 this morning. Well, it may be September, but millions of Americans are already getting ready for December. A survey from Bankrate finds that 12% of Americans started buying holiday gifts this month and another 13% already made purchases back in August. Well, inflation will be high on shoppers' minds, of course. 76% of Americans say that they expect to spend the same or less than last year. So we are on your side this morning with financial expert Neil Brown with some shopping tips that will help stretch your dollar this holiday season. Neil, thank you so much for stopping thank by. You. All right, let's go ahead and talk about this. I love Santa is not the only one who's making a list and checking it twice. Absolutely. When you're going into shopping season, you definitely need to have a list. You know, mm -hmm. think about the budget for each individual person as well as your overall individual budgets and just pay attention to that list. That's the thing I always kind of get worried about when I'm out there shopping. I'm like, oh, I like this, I like this. You gotta stick to that budget. It's a lot easier when you stick to a plan. Yeah, absolutely. All right, let's go ahead. We talk about Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Are they actually worth it? Sometimes they are, sometimes they're not. It just mm -hmm. really depends. Um, they're great times to buy, but there may be better prices later on, but you don't know. You also gotta think about maybe later on the inventory's low. So what are some of the things that we should be doing? Should we be preparing for Black Friday and Cyber Monday, or should we be kind of looking for these deals starting now? I think you start now. You never know when the deals are going to get better. If you can find something within your budget now, it's better to buy it than to wait and hope that it might go a little bit lower. Yeah, and then also if it is still in stock, right? Right. That's true too. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about meaningful versus expensive, I love this. Yeah, a lot of times people want to spend too much money on gifts, yeah. where sometimes it might sound cheesy, but it is important with the thought that counts. Mm -hmm. You might think about a video collage or a photo book with somebody that you had a special trip with versus actually going out and spending so much money on the gifts. Wow, and that's true. I mean, it's gonna mean a lot more, especially like having just that sentimental value Absolutely. versus the big TV that they're gonna see there. And then also, this is really important, credit cards. We can't be overusing them. You got to know what you're swiping that card with. Credit cards are really easy. They're convenient. They're, you know, like I said, easy to use. Right. But the problem is most people don't pay attention to how much they actually put on there. Mm -hmm. And then a lot of people will spend five to six months of the following year paying off their Christmas gifts. And if you just pay the minimum balance, it could take you five to six or more years to pay it. So what is your advice? Paying off the entire balance monthly? What, what is kind of your advice when it comes to stuff like this? I've always was told by my mom to pay off your credit cards monthly. <laughs> um, and if you couldn't afford it on a monthly basis, then you probably shouldn't get it. There you you go. should probably try to pre-save so you have the money available. Your mom is very wise. I hope so. That is some great advice there. I mean, just know what you're spending. You gotta, you gotta have the money before you spend the money. It's a lot easier if you have the money. Very, very true. Neil, thank you so much thank for stopping you. by. We always appreciate it. And we'll be putting this on our website, WLTX.com.